Sometimes you can live in an area your whole life and never know the hamlets and villages just beyond your city limits. Carmanuk is one of those locations that people drive through and hardly even notice it's there. My name is Angie and I'll be your host on this episode of Main Streets Canada, Carmanuk Edition. Thank you for joining me as we journey through the past of the small towns in Ontario, discovering the main players and events that took place before our time. So before we get started, please click the like and subscribe button and we'll begin. Carmanuk is located along the borders of Elma, Gray and Logan Townships. You can find it on the Boundary Road just west of Moncton, Ontario. Considered an early hamlet and originating in 1866, Carmanuk was late to get its start. With dense forests and swamps in the area, few had ventured to settle here. It wasn't until William Mahan selected the 18th concession and obtained the 24th and 35th lots. William used the forts to his advantage and erected a sawmill on lot 35. As an immigrant from Carmanuk, Scotland, he selected the hamlet's name in honor of the place he was born. The sawmill attracted others to the area, those seeking employment and those finally encouraged that the land was habitable. Quite quickly, the hamlet grew, offering a hotel, general store, post office, and homes, including a two-story log boarding house and a one-story log house, along with two barns. By 1875, the first post office was open, with William as first postmaster. Then, to the detriment of the community, Mahan moved his sawmill operation to Moncton, removing the location of the existing post office which was then moved to the house of David Harrison, recently residing on the 15th concession. In 1895, a small parcel of land was purchased from the Canada Lands Company for the sum of $20. The plot was intended to be used as a cemetery and is the only public burial ground in Logan Township. Sadly, the first internment was that of a two-month-old child an infant of Mr. and Mrs. Peter Tarr in 1897. William Mahan also finds his last resting place here, along with his family. By 1901, Carmanuk recorded a population of 20 or so. The community was self-sufficient and offered a number of businesses, including a shoemaker, a cheese factory, a blacksmith shop, as well as two general stores and a postmaster. The community's residents were 100% Scottish in the beginning and became known for a big community picnic event they hosted each year in the area. But soon the prosperity of Carmanuk would begin to disappear. The two main factors contributing to this once desirable village. The first, when Mr. Mahan moved his sawmill to Moncton. The second, a fire at the hotel which destroyed the building as well as other buildings nearby. Without the industry to support the community and regrowth, none of the buildings were rebuilt. Today, North Logan Harvey Cemetery on Line 53 is all that remains of Carmanuk, which is registered to the municipality of West Perth. There are no more reminders of what stood before and the residents have moved on. This concludes this episode of Main Streets Canada. I hope you've enjoyed this walk down memory lane and I invite you to subscribe so that we can see where we end up next. Once again, thanks for spending this time with me. I look forward to your next visit. In the meantime, have a great day.